Hi, welcome to Paganesque. I am a week late with uh, the weekly cards for last week, so I think that um, I still want to do them so they could probably be a kind of a reflective sort of thing before I do this week coming. So, the three cards that I drew were the Hummingbird from the Medicine card deck, the Wheel of Fortune from the, right -away, the Radiant Right Away Tarot, and Elestial Quartz from the Liquid Crystal deck. So, um, the general theme of the week were about fortunes changing, about us finding our personal power again, and really connecting with our inner truths and and sort of coming to terms with what we do and don't want in our lives and what we can do to sort of move on from that. So I'll start with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a card of karma, of things changing, what goes around comes around. It really highlights the cycles in our life that we go through. Um, you know, there's always up times and down times, times when we feel good, times when we feel not so good. Um, it's generally a sign that fortunes are changing. If things have been pretty crappy, then, you know, it's a sign that things are going to get better. So for me, that's good because I've been in a real slump. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a good card. It's a lucky card. Um, but it can also mean what goes up must come down. So don't get too cocky and high-spirited in your achievements because the people you stand on as you get to the top you may pass them on the way down and they won't hold any sort of steps up for you. They will just watch you slide. Um, but I choose to manifest and take a positive view of the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm going to say that it means that our fortunes are changing and things are getting better. Yay. Now, in that process, we come across the hummingbird. Now, the hummingbird is a beautiful little bird. It represents joy and grace and love and, and beauty in the smaller things in life. So when you're trying to come out of a slump, like me, um, this hummingbird is a sign, you know, to be grateful for what you have around you. Look at the little things, take small pleasures in life, um, you know, and find your joy. Do what makes you happy. Reconnect with that part of yourself that feels joy. I mean, gosh. Sometimes joy feels so elusive. It's sort of like, well, what is it? Is it bliss? I think it's more than bliss. It's more than happiness. I mean, when was that last time that you just had that giddy feeling where you just couldn't stop laughing and there were tears and you could feel it bubbling up in your head and, and you know, you felt alive. And, and that's a, sort of the feeling that we're all really chasing and, and we sort of go about it the wrong way, working our nine to five and trying to earn money, thinking that that's going to bring us the happiness and joy that we need, when really joy is a feeling inside ourselves and something that we need to find and experience and, and love. And you're more likely to find joy in the little things of life, in, in relationships with your kids or with your partner, in giggling and laughing and creativity and painting and and doing doing things that you love. So, I mean, the message of this week was really to connect with what you love, love to do. Do that. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't feel like you have to do things a certain way. Follow the rules and pay your bills and things like that, but bring some joy into it, some happiness into it. It's all about perspective and attitude. And this brings us to our last card, which was Alessio Quartz. Now, the message of this card is about angelic truth. So it's telling you that the angels are around you. They want to reconnect with you. They want to help you. But not just your angels, your spirit guides, or even that part of yourself that, that pushes you forward, that connects you with you know, your deeper soul. You know, the Elestial Quartz, it, it's great for working with your Crown Chakra as well and Archangel Michael. But it's really about um, finding your truth, speaking your truth, your authenticity. We sort of feel that we have to do certain things or act certain ways in order to be accepted by others or in order to, to reach the general consensus of where we should be. But it's not always that way. If you're not happy doing something, if you're not happy... Um, you know, if you're not representing or being your true self, you're not going to be happy. I mean, it, it encourages you, like, 
you know, if you're doing something for people that you don't really want to do, but you feel like you should do, that's not speaking your truth. You're not being authentic. You're deceiving yourself and you're deceiving them because they think that you want to do this thing and you really don't. You know, or it's um, when you're sort of, you know, you have deep thoughts or feelings about a particular issue, but you're afraid to speak up or afraid to even admit it to yourself. That's not really being authentic. So you're not really living your truth. You're not really, you know, honouring the person that you are. You know, it can also be in those little niggling thoughts like, hmm, I shouldn't be eating this or, hmm, I should really do that thing. Um, and, and like, those niggling thoughts keep coming up because you know that you really do need to do that thing. And that thing, if that thing, <laughs> I know I've got this hypothetical thing, but if it's going to lead you to happiness and joy and you know that it will, but something's stopping you from doing it, that's something that might come up this week and something that you need to push through and work on. So thinking about the last week, if those issues have come up, if there's something that's been niggling at you that you want to get through or want to do, something that you need to push past, well, um, now's a great time to do it. We've just had the full moon, or we're currently in the full moon phase where everything is powerful and manifesty and ready to be released or encompassed. So yeah, have a little thought about that. Um, hope you had a great week. I am now about to draw the cards for the next week. So let's see where we are now in the future. Ooh. Okay, I'm really great at ending. So <laughs> I'm going to end here. Have a great day. Bye.